Hello everybody and welcome back to some Risk of Rain 2. We are jumping in once more. Of course, I'm going to go with the old uh, the old Monsoon and Diluvium again. I, by the way, people have mentioned about me just using um, the Eclipse mode, which is a pretty decent idea, but you have to scale all the way to the difficulty. And the difficulty of Diluvium plus Monsoon is, is pretty different. So I'm uh, I'm fine to just play like this. I'm going to play as the Artificer today and we're going to go with the Flamethrower Flame Bolt build and see what we can do. I'm, I'm kind of interested to see how this goes. Um, charge to teleport forward. Ooh, okay. Let's try that out maybe as well. That's a new skill from one of the mods that I use. And then I'm pretty into this next skin here. Um, we do have some modded characters to play eventually. I do need to unlock them first, but... We'll give that a go. Of course, in the last episode, I had a bit of a hard time getting a run together, but that's part of the uh, the fun, at least for me, with this, the difficulty modifiers that we're kind of utilizing. There is definitely a few different things that we can do here to... Um, so how exactly does this work? Oh, that is not the skill that I meant to use. It's this one. Ah, okay, that doesn't teleport quite as far as I was expecting, but that's pretty interesting. Um, you can charge it up a little bit. So we'll grab this first. But yes, glad to be back on some Risk of Rain. I have, uh, I can't remember if it was the last episode or the one before that. I think in the last episode I'd already pre-recorded it, so... Yeah, uh, I had COVID. I can't, like I said, I can't remember if I mentioned that in the last episode, but I had COVID, so I was kind of, like, off sick, not really playing many games. I played Revita a lot, but that's only because I Steam-linked it to my living room. Uh, from my PC and uh, and played that a bunch, which was genuinely a very good game. But yeah, so I, I hadn't actually played Risk of Rain in quite some time, although I did get to do something that is always very enjoyable, uh, and I think anyone will be able to uh, attest to this. I got to um, play Survivors of the Void with a friend that hadn't played Survivors of the Void yet. Uh, and I don't mean specifically, like, um, playing Survivors of the Void with someone, but I, I more so mean, like, Getting to experience something you love, uh, often you really enjoy, with someone that hasn't tried it for the first time, it's it's just it's always a really uh, pleasant experience. Open all nearby chests. That's actually incredible. Um, yeah, it's it's always like a really pleasant experience. I accidentally just cancelled my uh, thingy there, which is really dumb. Okay, so that stuns. Ice cube there. Okay, so we need to be careful because our health's a little low here. We did get a cautious slug, which is rather nice. Um, but yeah, like, that's always a really pleasant experience. He He's actually the person that introduced me to Risk of Rain to start with, but he hadn't played it in a little while and didn't know about the DLC, so I told him about it and we ended up playing it, and it was it was a thoroughly pleasant experience. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Unfortunately, we didn't get to play modded because he hadn't set up mods yet, but still, I think vanilla Survivor of the Void, any, any one of you that's watching will probably agree, is, is absolutely fantastic and well worth the play. Ooh, that's really nice. Okay, these guys are getting a little out of hand here. Oh my god! <laughs> it just dropped him. It just absolutely dropped him. We're getting a lot of Luna coins here. I am taking way too long on this stage, by the way. Uh, with the Diluvium difficulty modifier plus Monsoon, difficulty scales very, very quickly. Uh, I will plop on one of these. I kind of want to use my, uh, my, my Q ability, but I also want to try and use it on somewhere that has multiple chests available to me. 57 Leap Clover is very nice. Okay, so... Let's go with Lensmakers. I I'm not going to use it yet. I'm going to try and use it on a big chest. Because um, it says it opens all nearby chests. I am I'm assuming that the quality of said chest doesn't actually matter. Another good item for healing. We need a lot of sustain when we're playing this difficulty. A lot of sustain. Um, so getting stuff like Monster's Tooth. Well, not the best. Ooh, there's an invisible chest right here. I can just see the glimpse of it. I see you. I see you. I just see the glimpse of it right there. Gimme, gimme. Free chest. Piggy bank. Eh, that's not great on its own, but it scales pretty well. Oh my god, look at this. Boom. Oh my god, that's like single target. Okay, I didn't actually know that right. Um, how much can I charge this for? Okay, so you can't charge it a lot. It's not an amazing movement skill, but it's it's there. Oh, we got a mon we got a shrine of the mountain up there too. I might not even get to use my skeleton key this um, this floor if it isn't a chest that requires it. Okay, there is another active item there. Doubt we'll need that. I'm gonna go and get that now. 
We are, we're taking way too long on this floor. Things are getting pretty hectic. It's fine. It's not fine. <laughs> I'm saying it's fine. It's not really fine. It's going to definitely cause us some issues later down the line. I don't know if this will reach. Okay, it does just about. Nice. We'll grab that. I know that's risky as all hell, especially with the current levels of HP I'm sitting at, but I I am taking the risk. We're on our last dash for uh, for chests now, and then we're kind of out of here. We don't need to collect every chest. I think that's one thing that I often make a mistake with in Risk of Rain 2, is I, I, I always kind of try to get every chest available on the stage before I leave. Especially on difficulties like this, it's not only not necessary, it's not really plausible either. It's very much so not a good idea. Um, we don't have too many new mods, by the way, since the last episode. We do have a few here and there, like a few new drones and stuff. But nothing crazy. I will grab that. And do you know what? Let's just spunk the rest of our money on this uh, chance right over here. I don't think we've got too much else going for us. We did get a saw meringue. I, I quite like the idea of a saw meringue, I'll admit. Okay, that's, that, that's actually pretty good for stunning. And that, oh, that icicle's pretty nice. We got another, oh yes, a healing drone. And we got one more chest in the house. And we gotta get out of here. We got, we got a ton of flying enemies though, which is gonna be extraordinarily problematic. And we got a bustling fungus. Not the best, because obviously we have to stand still for it. But if we can get into a, a spot of some safety, it's not going to be bad. Oh my god, this is getting way too hectic right now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate this. And I'm going to go grab the saw meringue real Oh, I'm dead. I just got hit by fire damage. Look at that damage that I just took. Yeah, I'm so fucked. Oh my god. Okay. Pretty, pretty piss poor first floor. Let's let's just admit. Let's just admit. We'll give that another we'll give that another try. <laughs> One of the things I actually really like about this difficulty though, like I feel like in vanilla, even on monsoon, it is quite literally impossible for you to die on the first floor. And now some people may think that is a good thing, and I think a lot of people probably think that's a good thing. And I do tend to agree somewhat, but I feel like it just it spices things up if you actually have to play to the speed of the game. I feel like the difficulty curve, the the, uh, the difficulty increase, really makes very little difference, even on Monsoon, until you get around 15 minutes in. Then it starts to really matter. So I think the early game becomes a lot more fast-paced and requires a lot more fast-paced if you, uh, you kind of play to it. With the with these extra difficulty modifiers, that guy almost hit me, but one of these dudes knocked him out of the way. God damn! I the out of face is a character I used to hate mainly because she doesn't really have a proper movement skill. Uh, but I've actually grown to to like the out of face quite a lot. We get ourselves yes! Oh, that is incredibly good. And also the Ice Band's really good too. So we just increased our fire damage and fire effects by a ton, which increases the damage of our primary fire and our flamethrower ability by a whole heck of a lot. It's an incredibly good thing to get early game. It's probably one of the most valuable items you can get as an artificer quite early on. So that is a that is a get that I'm, I'm very pleased to see right now. I am trying to get up to another 50 coins to grab this. Things are a little slow going to start. Okay, portal's there. Good, that's good to know. Okay, all the fire should kill all you. And there we go, we're up to 50. I do hear another one of you. I also hear Big Boy McGee over there. Monolith is pretty good. Monolith is going to give us extra uses of shrines. It's not always super valuable depending it is it's all dependent on the shrines you get really by the way there is um an area down that way but i'm actually gonna opt to not go there right now and instead try and play for a little bit more speed so we got a multi shop down here which i'll uh peruse real quick 
Mon Monster's Tooth is good. I'm going to go for random, though. And we get, yeah, Retaliate on taking heavy damage. That's pretty good. Okay, so we got that going. Ooh, there's a flying boy there. Doesn't look very friendly. Okay, then we're going to take the path round the back over that way. You did survive, but... Will you survive this? Yeah, we're going to take the path back round this way and to the teleporter. Just because we have another 50, we might be able to get out of the big chest if one exists. But, despite not having the open all chest active item anymore, this is a very good start compared to the last one. That's pretty useful. I, I, I wouldn't say it's super useful. It's okay. But it looks like there actually isn't any additional chests down here, so I might have uh, wasted a bit of time here. I think it was worth a try. I'll actually grab that turret real quick as well. Just because tur turrets actually teleport to the uh, the portal now. They teleport to the teleporter. Which they never used to, but it's part of one of the mods that I have. Something very, very nice. Nice in their quality of life. Makes them a little lot more useful. Just to make sure we don't have a pile of enemies on us here. There you go. No mountain shrine this time, unfortunately. So this should actually be a pretty darn quick kill. On us, maybe. Oh my god, that was close. Unfortunately, we might still be screwed here. Because we don't have any sustain. Which is, of course, really bad. I probably should have picked some monster tooth looking at this run now. Yeah, you bastard. I should have. I should have. He's also healing quite a lot too. Run it back. It's no worry. A few full starts here and there, but I just need to prioritize a little more. Okay, multi shop off the bat's pretty nice here. I think... I don't actually know what this pinwheel does, so I'm going to buy it and hope that it's something good. Chance to apply Weaken on hit. Yeah, that's pretty good. I wonder what that chance is. Yep, seems seems like a pretty high chance. Okay. Uh, and also a healing drone, which is the sustain that I was talking about. Okay, yeah, applying Weaken on hit here could be just genuinely incredible for us. Before we buy that, let's go and have a little jaunt and have a little look around. Good, you're all dead. We got a 3D printer down there. We got a big guy. Is that above us? I think that's above us. I can hear him moving, but I don't actually see him. Roll of pennies. Oh, dude. Like, I'd have to get rid of my apply weakness effect, but goddamn, that seems tempting. Do you know what? I think it's more than tempting. I think it's basically necessary for success. I'm sorry, Pinwheel. You were so good to me. For the very brief time I knew you. But Roll of Pennies early on is a game changer. It essentially just means that we're going to get... We'll take a cautious look here. Essentially it just means that we're going to get a way more money in these early stages. Which is, of course, incredibly important. So we still have the uh, the drone that we want to get. The, the healing drone, that is. Let's keep moving along this way, though. I think, I think one of the things with this character, with these difficulty modifiers we've got going on right now, is purely that fact of not having a movement skill. I think it's... Oh, that was a really bad usage of um, flamethrower. I didn't mean to do that. Gonna drone. Stun you to stop you firing at me. Flamethrower there to get a bit of extra damage. We do have another chest here. Good. I'm actually gonna let this guy hit me. Just because it's going to give me a lot of money. Burn, uh, burn effects are kind of what we need right now. So, that's to apply poison on hit. Really nice there. And what else did we get? We got another modded item there. Deal an extra instance of damage on hit. That's rather nice. 
And we get ourselves uh, a chance at redemption with a full heal there. Or near full heal, should I say. Okay, good. I burnt myself a little bit here. Ice you all up. Another roll of pennies, actually. That's a very good grab. And I think we're out. I think we're out. Let's go up this way and just make sure there's nothing on the bridge. I'll try and grab that healing drone. I probably should. I don't, I don't want to go out of my way for it, but at the same time, it is a healing drone. Okay, I see one more chest over there. And it's... Uh, I think it's a big damage chest. Which would be real nice for us. I don't know if it's really worth the teleport to use it for movement, you know, because it slows you down to charge it. So I feel like you kind of... It's, it's a net neutral amount of movement. Although it's pretty useful for, like, this. Negate fall damage. So let's boot this up. And go, go, grab the, get, go grab the drone now. Holy shit, that is a... A lot of fellas you've decided to spawn in there. Good. With the mobs that I have, you can actually grab things like drones when you're outside the area. Do that to negate the fall damage real quick. I'm just going to quickly get rid of some of these other enemies. I feel like they're going to wreck me. Oh my lord, they are wrecking me. Holy shit, there's so many other enemies here. I always forget this character has a... Um, a thingy to negate fall damage, actually. A, a jetpack. So that, that bullshit about negating fall damage was complete tosh, really. I don't need that at all. Okay, so we have managed to acquire a rather large sum of money right now. But we are also in a pretty dire situation. I think, yeah, it's just not having that movement skill, isn't it? It's really screwing us up. I don't want my healing drones gone, but I'd very much like it to reattach. There you go. Okay, there you go. We actually got the boss this time. We still need to survive the, the rest of this onslaught here. Uh, we get ourselves. Come on. Okay, I forgot about the blue portal. I'll, I'll admit that, but I honestly don't really care at this point because shit kind of got a bit crazy here. But the amount of XP we just got there gave us another level up, which is nice. Amount of XP, sorry, amount of money we got gave us another another level up. I do apologize if you heard me burp there. I am drinking Luke's it right now. Right, okay. We need to go grab this right now because it delays healing in this mode, so... Guillotine's very nice for us. Getting the, f the the fire and the poison on hit is really nice, actually. The double DOT. Another chest back that way. Primordial Cube is pretty good. It's not the best, but it'll do. Definitely in love with Guillotine, though. Give me more Guillotines and I'll be very happy. That was a crit, nice. Did we get a lens makers at some point? No, we didn't. I think we opted to not take the lens makers, right? Okay, so we got ourselves another lunar coin here. I'll grab that. Okay, you need to go. I'm kind of like not really caring about getting hit right now because th these enemies aren't exactly going to kill me. And as you can see, they've, they've skyrocketed my economy. But I think now we're actually like on a run. <laughs> Basically, once you once you make it past that first place, apply permanent. Oh goddamn! What the hell? Permanent hemorrhage to bleeding targets. That's kind of interesting. Got a shrine in the mountain here as well. I really like that stun effect. That's really nice. Okay. Other chests. There's, another, there's a terminal over here. We'll go grab that. I would very much like that indeed. I'm 
you can all do as you please. Uh, ooh, I think movement speed is pretty much a must right now. Under the chest over here. Anchor. Increases damage of all nearby allies after standing still for one second. That's not really too good for us, is it? Boom. You see? Okay, it's useful for that. It's useful for that. Okay, got all of those. Ooh, we do have one of these dudes over here. Um, I've kind of got a little bit of an idea, but I'm going to have to sort of work around it. Right. Just, you calm down for a minute, you big green skull. I'm just going to chill. I'm going to play it safe-ish. Make sure green guy can't hit me. And then... That... That is kind of what I was looking for here. Okay, that was pretty beautiful. That was exactly what I'm looking for. That's a... Nice bit of safety and a ridiculous infusion of money. Gonna give us a little more time to walk around. We've, we've, we've entered into hard now as well, difficulty-wise, so... Things are gonna step up a notch. I realise i got a big boy following me, but to be honest, they're not that much of a concern. I will check another active item, mainly just because I have the money to do so. And unfortunately, it's something that I consider relatively worthless. We'd have a scrapper there, but I honestly don't think I'd scrap anything we have. Maybe the anchor, but honestly, even the anchor could be useful. Another active to try out here as well. One other thing about the, the pennies is as well, it instantly alerts you that you're on fire. Because sometimes it's not immediately obvious. Ooh, that is 100% something I'll take. Arguably not a ton better than the Primordial Cube. Because it's just got a ridiculously long cooldown. But I, I think it's a pretty good active. I think it's one of those ones that, for boss killing specifically, it's, it's very, very fun. Okay, so we're just doing one last check for chests. We've got something over there. We've got two chests over here. Yeah, we do. Nice. Okay. Glad I checked. I'm hoping for more movement speed, I'll be honest. Okay, Cautious Slug's actually real good. That's actually pretty good as well. Right. Hopefully the Prion Accumulator can do us some good work here. Prion Accumulator is one of those ones that sometimes it's real good, sometimes it's, it misses and it kind of doesn't really do what you want it to. It's all about sort of where we can get ourselves before we fire it. That's not great. That is a lot of you as well. So that did a pretty good amount of damage. I do think we're going to die here, I'll be honest. This is a ridiculous amount of clear Doom Striders for us to survive. Like, we have a, a decent build for it, but not anything crazy. As you can see, my health is pretty rapidly diminishing right now. Cautious Slug isn't going to activate either unless we... Uh, Get out of danger, which is not particularly hard to do. Not particularly easy to do right now, sorry. We don't have any other sustain either, which is really not good. Our empty bottle, unfortunately, is cracked. Like, it's like, we could... The, the, the sort of problem here is we could wait on pre accumulator, but as you can clearly see, the bosses have healed. If we leave the bosses without damaging them for quite a while, they do heal up. I think Primordial Cube would have actually been better in this situation. I can maybe go back and get it. It's a little bit of a hard reset on this fight, I'll be honest, but I kind of think it's worth it. You'll see. Watch watch the boss's HP bar. It's about to skyrocket. Oh, there's another chest back here. Probably not the best time to be uh, fishing for chests, but I'll grab it. War Banner could actually help quite a lot. Yeah, this is this is pretty bad. I maybe shouldn't have taken the try of the mountain, should I? That was maybe a poor idea. I mean, even this could be pretty good. Like, I, I normally treat this thing as absolute trash. But, like, we don't need our money anymore, so it's kind of like... Maybe it'll work out. Although, it's still got a 37 second on the use. I, th I didn't even know this thing had a timer on it. I thought it was unlimited use. I think it's because I had another exit prior. 
God damn, the amount of other enemies about is, is insane right now. Okay, we'll see we'll see how this goes. I kind of think we're dead. <laughs> oh, look at the amount of fucking burning dudes there is. What the hell is this? Is this fair? Is this what you would call fair game? It is eating my money really quickly as well. But it is doing a considerable amount of damage, and as long as we're Okay, with a little bit of fire every now and again. Ow. Oh, Lord. That's a big ouch. Just quickly stop using that for a second. Oh, Lord. Shit is going down. Ah, oh, God damn it. The healing's so much. Look how quickly the boss is healing. And there we go. We're, we're dead. Oh my lord, that was that was a toughie. We'll give it we'll give it one more go with the art facer, but it's not looking good. I I don't know. Maybe we'll go NG. NG still has a, a similar issue, but I like NG a little more. Let's maybe go as NG. We're gonna go with the mobile turrets as well, cause why not? God damn. Difficult times. Difficult times. I love it, though. I re Like, I'm sure that some of you watching this are like, this is the most frustrating thing I've ever seen. You're just getting stuck and dying all the time. Doesn't this make runs really frustrating? And I'm sure for some of you it does, but I really like it. Like, it adds, it adds like, a certain level of, like, problem solving and, like, I don't know, like, urgency to the runs. It's not, it's not all just get whatever items you want get to the next level, which I feel like for the most part, it the game kind of gets like. It doesn't matter what build you got, what items you got, you, you're pretty much fine to get to the next stage. Whereas this, it's now like, you got to get some stuff that actually like works for you. And I realize it's RNG, so you're not always going to get that, but that's kind of tough titties. Get a few rockets out there. We've now got this as well, the little void uh, Void things, which is pretty awesome. Um, chests wise, do we see anything else? We do see a drone, but I'm not too intrigued by the drone, I'm, I'll be honest. I'm going to leave my turrets to do their thing. They're firing their lasers. I don't actually see an awful lot of good stuff. I do see another shrine of the mountain, and you know for a fact I'm going to grab it. Like, I'm sorry, but it was what killed me last time. I must get my vengeance. There was a chest just down here. This is yet another character that suffers from just extremely low mobility. I do wish that the like every single one of the base game characters had at least a movement ability. Um, it's a little frustrating that they don't, but I understand why. It's because, especially someone like the NG has kind of a lot of power. Right. Any more chests for us? Okay, there's one more over here. Our turrets are probably going to get us enough money in a sec. Open that up. Ooh, nice. Extra boss damage. That's going to help a lot. And I think after this, after this Shrine of the Mountain, I'm pretty much good to leave. I've gotten a good amount of items here. I got a Void item, which is pretty nice to get on the first stage. Grab that. And then, yeah, I don't actually know where our teleporter is. I haven't seen it yet. The turrets are, like, pretty okay early game. They get a, they fall off a little bit late game, the mobile ones, but they're, they're decent. I prefer them over the stationary ones because I'm just not the sort of person that likes to sit in one space. I realize it doesn't work with a good old Bungus either, but I still, I'm still not a big fan of the, of the stationary ones. The Bungus strategy, it's funny, but it's not fun, at least for me. I don't really enjoy sitting in one place. Ooh, that's rather, than, rather nice as well. Where the hell is our teleport? Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. I'm going to take some fall damage on this as well. We do have one... Um, I will grab this, actually. We do have one uh, extra skill, like modded skill, on this character here. We have these uh, new mines, which are like um, electronic mines. They're pretty good. Get off an active. 
pretty good. Enter a frenzy. Let's get my turrets back to me. Oh shit. So vagrants ain't great. Just because, obviously, they are skybound, which is uh, problematic. I might, I might take a lot of damage here. Yeah, I did. I didn't manage to get out of the way of that in time. But one of them is dead, which is very nice. Okay, now this we have to get out of the way, otherwise we will die. Okay, let's uh, let's let's just reallocate ourselves a little bit here so I don't die. God damn, these little wisps are an absolute pain in the ass, I tell you. Give me a turret. And my turrets have been wailing on this guy, but I'm about to die again. Don't do it. I need the movement speed. Get me out of here. My health regen is so pathetic. I just don't want to die in a single hit, please. Get got. If you get got as well, please, before you shoot me, thank you. And you, and you. Okay. We're somewhat in the clear now. We got two items. I can't actually tell what they are right now. Um, is it a hoopoo feather? No, it's not. I don't know what this is. It's a modded item. The faster you move, the more damage you deal. Honestly, pretty decent with that active, but generally not very good for us. Oh, we did get a lunar uh, thingy as well here. Lunar portal. This could help us out pretty immensely. Head and through. God, this has been a roller coaster today. But this should help our build quite a lot because we can buy some extra items in here. Which is another thing that adds to this be not it, may, it kind of balances out the difficulty a little bit because you can buy some extra items like this so we can get ourselves i don't actually recognize any of these what is this i'll buy this see what it is hitting enemies is a six percent chance of knocking them back that's not great um let's get two of these which is chance to shoot extra unpredictable projectiles and i don't think we can afford anything else okay um i think we're pretty much good to go then aren't we I'll do one reroll on this. Um, I'll check out what these are. I might not take either of them. Chance to fear enemies when attacked. Doubles health regen. Attacks burn enemies for max and HP at the cost of your own. Oh god. That sounds terrible. I don't have a lot of max HP. I wonder how that works. Like, can you literally get yourself down to 1 HP doing that? Pretty nuts. That right there scurries me. Scurries me deeply. The boxing glove, not a great grab. The, uh... The extra shots fired, however, could prove to be incredibly good. So let's just make sure our turrets are down. I really want some movement speed up. Ooh, some lens makers there. Shall I gamble? I know for a fact it's going to take away the items I just grabbed, but I think lens makers are too good. I'm just going to grab three of them. I didn't even see what it took. It took one of my mugs, not the. I realize I can charge this up to fire multiple projectiles at once, but I prefer to just spam it for the most part. I don't know what else I lost, but... Honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. Three, three lens makers is a huge boon to our success here. Right. Hey, turrets. How you doing? By the way, I do have a mod that buffs these mobile turrets. 
so they're not complete ass like they normally are. Just trying to stick around this chest for now. Unfortunately, there ain't much spawning. But that does mean that we've got to this area in a decent amount of time. Okay, that's enough. And we get ourselves... Reflects melee range equals a portion of armor. That's not good now, but later on that could be pretty valuable. Oh, cool. We got a fast and recommended trim. That is a, a new modded item unlocked. I don't know what I did to unlock that, I'll be honest, but... I will accept it. I think I'm actually going to go random on the green here. It's good again later. It's not good right now. Invisible chest there. This mod does make it a little too easy to see these, but still, it's fine. Hey, mimics one of your items. Just, hey, that's just going to randomly select one of our items. If you take a look at the top... Our mysterious healing liquid, our green one there, has a plus one in pink or purple, whatever colour you want to call it. It's kind of a mi mix of the two. And it's just going to randomly, every, like, 30 seconds or so, mimic one of our other items. It's a really cool item. Right, let's get a few of these mines in there. Oh, wait, I've got the, I think I've got the wrong mines on, you know. I'm supposed to have the stun mines on. I currently do not. I think I have the basic mines on instead. Let's get our turrets back towards me. Okay, I dropped a Luna coin. I'm not too bothered about picking that up right now, at least. Teddy is really good for us. Portal's just here. Portal always spawns right here for me. Always. Oh, a delicate watch. As long as we can keep that alive, that is incredibly useful for us. That is a 20% bonus to our damage overall. Hey, and there's some uh, there's some bleed, which is going to nicely synergize with our hemorrhage thing that we got going on. It did say heavily bleed, which unfortunately right now we ain't heavily bleeding, but... Still. Hey, another mysterious vial is really good. So what sort of drone is this? Is that a missile drone? I think it's a missile drone. Quickly check around the back here. Grab that last chest over there if, if there's nothing over here. There is not. There is some stuff over that side, but... You die, sir. I said die, but apparently he didn't feel like it too much. So I guess that's fine. And then there was one chest here, right? Yeah. Backup magazine is fine. I don't even know what backup magazine buffs for us here. Does it just give us more uh, mines? I think it just gives us more mines, which is not particularly good. Considering the mines are virtually useless. Anyways. Come back over here. Reallocate our turrets back to us. You go there, you go there. Spawn it in and then instantly tap this. We got Stone Titan this time, which helps us a lot. Wow. Okay, we have a lot of damage right now. And then we get ourselves Metronome, which unfortunately is an item that I find almost useless because I don't know how to use it. it. Like, you come up with these things here for the Metronome. I've never once managed to make it work. I've spammed the buttons. I've done different things. I, I, just, I don't know. I don't know. What, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I can't get the timing right. I, by the way, I am a human that has literally no rhythm, so that doesn't help. I am not musically inclined in any way, shape, or form. I tried playing one of those dance mat games, and um, oh lord, it was bad. I very much so completely failed. you know what? we got a pretty decent setup here. Having these extra turrets as well stand by when we fight the boss is rather nice. I don't know why this isn't a standard feature of the game. These turrets are literally worthless without this happening. 
It's not like they adopt your items or anything, so they're not ridiculously overpowered or anything. There you go. Just about done with this stage. I've not really seen how much bleed or hemorrhage we're getting on enemies right now, but hopefully a lot. Right, we finally have something going on. Just 40 minutes into the video. God damn. Could be a longy. Seems like we've got a lot of stuff on this stage to find. I'm gonna pop my uh, my fire rate thing. Oh, I haven't put my turrets down. Probably a good idea, right? Uh, drops mines when taking heavy damage. Okay, that's rather nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try to use my active whenever I can, really. Ooh, another void item. Medikit's rather good here. Lost Seers. Okay, that's not actually something I intended to pick up, but I actually think that could be pretty good. Because now we can't get crits from our uh, thingy, at least. But we can instantly kill enemies now, which I find could be pretty useful. Oh! Afterburner? What does Afterburner do on this character? I don't know. What's my utility skill? It's not giving me an extra turret. It may have... I think it's just giving me extra rockets, right? Two extra rockets, which isn't particularly good. But, I mean, it's nice. Definitely. But, yeah, that's not really what we're looking for. But, afterburn is cool. I think it also speeds up the cooldown, too, which is rather nice. Let's just use all of our rockets. Okay, that's, that's reasonably quick. I think it is the rockets it's affecting, at least. I might be just delusional right now, and it's affecting something completely unrelated. That is a strong possibility, I'll admit. Get the, uh, the old turrets in here. Critical strikes increase attack speed. That's good while we've got our uh, active up, but otherwise not so great. I'm kind of staying out of the way. Oh my god, what a teleporter location. Brilliant. Thank god the particles are here, otherwise I'd have been spent, <laughs> I'd have spent ages trying to find that. I don't know where my turrets are. They're chilling. They're vibing. We're going to the chest here. And chance to push nearby enemies on taking damage. And we're getting a lot of on damage effect right now. It's an energy drink. I'm a little sad to lose that, but I'll take it. A little sad to lose that, but I'll take it. Not so sad to lose that. Okay, let's uh, spawn my turrets in here because I'm getting a little claustrophobic. A little sad to lose that, but I'll take it. And that. And that. Oh my god. Okay. That'll do. I just wanted to get to the point where I'm actually, like, able to move around the stage at a decent speed. Ooh, there's also a mocker there. Do you know what? I'm just going all in. Attack speed and movement speed. That's all I need. I could also just increase all my stats by 10% with this. I don't know, I've never tried that before. That might be a, a decent idea, actually. Like, let me just try this out. 
stats. Hmm, okay. This is kind of intriguing. So I like pop a bunch of these. What are my stats looking like? So my speed is like the attack speed is 2.125. One point four. Okay, so the attack speed is definitely changed. Speed is kind of changed. Base damage, jump. I don't really. Is that worth it? I'm just gonna go with the mockers. This has been a bit of a weird one, but oh well. We've also got another uh, triple shop up there. It's funny to pick up all the items at once. I like that. Yeah, attack speed plus the lossy as lenses is uh, a pretty good combo. Do more damage when surrounded. That's kind of an interesting idea. How do I get up there? I don't remember. Is there a path up there? Is there a bridge? Oh, there, there's a path up here. Okay. Gasoline. Right. Let's go do the teleporter event. Bit of a weird one, this one. Bit of a weird one. I want to just quickly check what this 3D printer is over here, actually. While I'm on a 3D printer bend, why not? Ah, oh, it's an armor pullet. Don't care. Turn it back around. Turn the ship around. Play Dune Strider. Okay. Do you know what? We're actually doing pretty good work here. That one's dead. Where's the other one? Oh, it's up here. I love the uh, the, the little sucky, sucky circle. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what to call it. Definitely not sucky, sucky circle. That sounds vaguely sexual. I wouldn't even say vaguely. It sounds definitely sexual. But I hate this attack. Okay. Listen to that speed. I love that. It's beautiful. What a sound. That can drop Luna coins? Okay. Did not know that. Ooh, we've also got some extra stuff over here I didn't see. Grab that. Ooh, a goat hoof. Why not? Don't mind if I do. Bit of maximum HP increased. Oh, you can actually see the, the teleporter through the wall here. I think things are going pretty well. I think my tourists are doing a pretty good job. I don't know how often they're getting insta-kills, but I'll take it. We've also got another blue portal somewhere. Where, where the hell is it? Oh, it's here. Which I'm going to certainly take. Kind of an interesting one, this one. Buy a few new items. We got... I don't never remember what this is. What does that do? Two infusions, extra boss damage. There's a halo here. I kind of have to find out what the halo does. Increased move speed while in the air. Eh, is that good? Ooh, tell you what. I will most certainly lose a few of these to get a few of these. Uh, ba 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 I guess let's grab it. Why not? Fire Hornet Skulls when healed. Okay. Um, yeah. And then, like, an infusion. Cool. Let's get out of here. So I lost a bit of attack speed, a little bit of move speed, but I gained the ability to fire some uh, shurikens, which I think is pretty good. We're into ICU difficulty now already. Goddamn. I think the shurikens will help a lot. Hello, Vagrant. How are you doing? Vagrant, Vagrant. I never really know. 
I hear it all different sorts of ways. Um, I've just sort of seen if I can get a, a thought, sort of read on the area right now while I've got the high ground. Hello there. Oh, we got a big drone down there. Intriguing. I'm going to quickly make my way up the spiral path if I can bloody get onto it. God damn, how the hell do you get up here? Okay, there you go. Put both of those down. Hello, sir. Just quickly check. It's always worth checking this in case the legendary chest is here. We do have what seems to be a healing drone there. That was not a good idea. I have failed. Oh shit, there's, there's a, a lot of bosses here. How are you, be, sir? Also, uh, we, we need... We definitely need some more healing. Our health is not great right now. Where does this take us? Okay. Is there any reason to be up here? Hello, fat. Can you get shit on, kid? Okay. Actually, up to some chests now. Poo Poo Feather is super useful for us right now. I'm just kind of ignoring the enemies right now while I just like look around. I feel like it's a valid strategy. Cautious Slug there as well. Some incoming damage is dealt over time. Is that a good thing? Possibly? There was a, a buy site up here, there you go. I'm gonna take random again here. Metronome, god damn it, go away, metronome. At least I can scrap it, I guess. Also, this thing can get insta killed, so looking forward to that. Let out some shurikens. Get out the way of the big explosion before it kills me. Okay, I'm gonna do one more check through of chests, and then we'll go. I really want to find the legendary one, but I don't know where it'd be. Oh, I, I found it, I found it. It's just up here. I don't think we can afford it right now. Oh, it's a mountain shrine. I'm sorry, but I have to. I have to. It is the law. It's quite literally a very well-known law. We got Bungus as well. Right, so legendary chest is four grand. Oh, dip. I don't know, how much will this guy give us, though? We did just insta-kill the good. You're gonna do your thing, but I'm hoping you'll just insta-die. There you go. You insta-died. We're up to 2,000 now. We are taking quite a bit of damage. Another insta-kill there. These things usually give a good bit of moolah. Like that look. Another insta kill. The insta kills. Oh, the perfect. Okay, we're up to four grand already. Okay. And the vagrants here as well. And it got insta killed too. Beautiful day. Ah, need to remember we got a hoopoo feather to jump again. And we for this we get ourselves. Periodically freeze all enemies during the teleporter event. That's pretty good. Speaking of the teleporter event. I think we should make our way over. I would very much like to get this turret. Before I do so. Right, 
Go boom, boom. Lob all of our mines out, why not? Blazing Stone Titan. That's not good. In fact, that's decidedly very bad. God damn, thank God we have movement speed right now. I've got to kill the blazing one first. Oh lord, we might die here. Is he frozen or like, what the hell's going on here? Come on, turrets, do your magic. I think my turrets are getting killed pretty quickly. Okay, the, the, the attack speed bonus finished him off. Nice. Will of the Wisps. That's a, a rather decent prize. One of them is up on a wall. Right, let's go for a little run, shall we? Got insta killed. Um, I'm going to trade for two of these. No, let's call it three. Just to have a little bit of healing outside of combat. I have basically no healing whatsoever at the minute, so. Unfortunately, it doesn't trigger that legendary we got, because it's technically only increasing our regen, which doesn't count as healing. We got another Lunar Portal. Which, these are being very useful and generous right now. Which I very much like. Right, we're, we're way into the ha ha ha's now. I actually think grabbing a bunch of mimics is a good idea. Mimics are pretty fun. Uh, I don't think anything else there's worth grabbing, really. Let's go. Down we go. Okay, so this is the stage I normally die on. <laughs> let's uh, let's take on this void area first, shall we? Get get it out of the way. Just because we got the insta kills, we might have a good time with this. If I get hit by one of those balls from you, though, I am toasted and roasted pretty instantly. But stay the hell away from you. You went down pretty quick, actually. As did you. Three, only three void monsters remain. Who knows what they might be. I'm going to make my way through here. Exactly why. Okay, two void monsters remain. Is that a legendary? Oh my god. Do you know what? Yes. Give me all of these. I actually think they're genuinely better than all the legendaries we have right now. I've never seen a legendary uh, 3D printer before. I don't think I've ever seen one of them. There's still two void monsters. I don't know where though. Oh, there's one of them. And the last one's over here. Ah, hello, I see. You managed to find yourself a sneaky little hiding spot, did you? Okay, let's get ourselves some heals going. Yeah, unstable Tesla's pretty decent. God, the healing is not good. Like, we really need a lot more than we have right now. Trying to apply Blight on him. Whoa. That's pretty intriguing. Okay. I don't even know where the portal is in this stage. I'm looking around for it now. I don't see it from up here. I don't think.
Ooh, that's not great for us, actually, but we'll take it. Because it means we can't apply the extra blight thing, the hemorrhage. I don't think it can be down there, right? I can't remember it would be down there. Such a strange creature which periodically drops blocks. Ah, here it is. We probably want to get out of here pretty pretty sharpish, actually. I'm not all too keen to stick around. I'm kind of looking around for chests to see if I see them. Otherwise, I'm just going to go. Bit of healing. Lovely. Right, let's, let's get it. Let's do it. few extra chests here before we leave. Ooh, Critical Strikes healers. Potentially very, very good. Let's do this. Souls Control Unit. It's annoying, but it shouldn't kill us. I need to get above it, really. Easy. Easy. Nice. I think we're pretty chill now, right? Ain't much that can kill me now. Ain't much that can kill me now. I'm getting overconfident. <laughs> I'll, I'll be completely honest, I am. Uh, one of our turrets did die. Unfortunately, our turrets have got to the point where they're pretty low HP now. Like, they get killed pretty quick. We've got a turn here. Okay. Our turrets are doing a good job, though, killing stuff. They kill stuff very quickly. And for the most part, just sit still. Hey. I didn't say you could shoot me. Got another portal. God damn. We're getting lucky with the balls. Oh, damn. I should not have been so still there. I was taking a sip of my drink. I thought I'd be okay. Look at how fast the little legs move. I love it. Cool. Back through here again. Grab a few more items. And we'll be on our way. I do have to end. I do have to actually like end this run soon though, because this video goes out in precisely 20 minutes. <laughs> I am recording this on the day of. Um, let's grab a few of these and see if they get corrupted. Yeah, they do. Nice. To be fair, I don't think we'll be alive too much longer. Like, and I'm not saying I'm going to try and kill myself, but there is definitely a lot of ways I could die very quickly in loop. I'm probably going to beeline the teleporter event here. See? The insta-kill. It's too good. Oh, shit. Oh, that was... That was gin... You see what I mean? I was like... I saw, I, I saw the, um, the, the spike thing, and I went to jump over it, and I just missed. And then that dude just insta-killed me. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Once you get into loop, you're about to die pretty quick. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys did enjoy. That was a very fun run, nonetheless. A bit of a slow start, but either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.